Hello, hello, hello. How are you today? I am doing the third in the series today of the Amaryllis Abloom, which is a host uh, set. And um, today we're going to go back to using the larger flower. We used that on the first one and then on the um, second one we used these two to make a really cute flower and now we are going to do a monochromatic set and I always like to put my envelope here so that it reminds me to do that um, but I am going to set it aside for now and so today um, oh and <laughs> we have cut out a couple of because if I don't set these these are matte black dots, and if I don't set them out with the set, then I tend not to use them. As a matter of fact, yesterday, or not yesterday, but whenever it was, maybe it was yesterday, when we made the um, second set with this, I forgot to tie the ribbon around the, um, oh, let me open it up, I meant to tie a ribbon around this part of the card just for a little something added extra but it doesn't really need it um, as you could see all right so this is the card base basic white and it is half of an eight and a half by eleven um, scored in the middle and then use your bone folder to give a good crease okay then um, our next papers are basic black and this one is three and three quarters by four and five eighths. And then a basic white layer, which will be for our, our uh, stamp. This one is going to be three by four and a quarter. And then we're going to have a, just a strip. And this one is actually measured. It's a half inch by four inch. And we're going to do a little bit different today. We're actually going to wrap it around, which I just love. It's so cute and I had never thought to do that and yet that's another way to do your sentiment strip that gives it a little more um, you know this is cute kind of thing the cuteness factor because we all want the cuteness factor right now I had originally tried to put this on this D block and it probably would work maybe even if I moved it up just a bit see it probably would work just fine but since I don't want to have to worry about that I am going to the I block I'm not even sure if you can see that on the camera and that way I don't have to worry about it at all the other things that I'm going to use or the other thing that I'm going to use is the sentiment and so I'm going to pull that sentiment strip off and um, this is G, and another thing you can do, other than just putting the sentiment on there, is lay it down, whoops, so that you can read the sentiment, there we go, and then pick it up with the block. The advantage to doing it that way is you don't inadvertently twist that sentiment. Okay, so let's put this aside. We're going to put our sentiment strip aside. We're going to take our um, the white piece that goes on top. And the only thing we're going to use today, the only color is in, in ink, at any rate, is um, black, black, excuse me. And it is Memento Tuxedo Black. And I'm going to take my stamp, give it some good ink. Oh, sorry, the table is wobbling there a bit. I have it on my um, uh, for my to attach my computer to my screen. I have it on that table, and you don't think about it not being all that sturdy because you're not having to stamp on it. <laughs> all right, and then I'm going to pull out my sentiment strip and my stamp on my block and I'm going to try to get it as even as I can and in the middle as best I can 
you know, and it's not something I'm going to fret about. I'm just going to do the best I can. Uh, but that is a little crooked. So the nice thing is oh, our paper has two sides. I think I will. Part of the problem is that camera is a little bit in the way. Okay. Oops, I don't think I did any better on... Ah, we're going to use the other side. <laughs> okay, it's not as bad as I thought it was, right? All right, so then I'm going to put my ink aside. And I am going to go ahead and put this on even that. Doesn't that just... Ah, I love it. Okay, so what I'm going to do is put my... Um, now I could use my tape or I could use my multi-purpose Tombow and I have it in my, there we go, I have it upside down. So I'm going to put some glue in there. Oops, don't want my sentiment strip under it. There we go. Okay, and then I am going to Put some glue on here. Now what I'm going to do is wrap this around like I said. So I need to center it here like that. And you noticed I only put glue in the center. Okay, then I'm going to bend those backwards. There we go. And then when I go to this side, I'll put a little bit of glue there. Now I could use tape runner or um, shoot not snail, what's it called? I'm going to hold those down. What I'm trying to say is seal. <gasps> it's early in the morning. I'm in my classroom. Nobody's in school yet except the principal. <laughs> Alright, there we go. Now, here's where we're going to use our um, matte black dots and this is the set of dots and I didn't show you that very long did I matte black dots okay and then I'm gonna take these and whatever you want to use whoops helps if you have the right side up and then I'm gonna pull those off of there and we're just gonna put a couple down here but look at the difference between having those dots and not having those dots. It just adds something so dramatic to them. There you go. Now, let's put this on. Here. Make sure it's opening to the correct side. Have you ever done that? Put it in there backwards or something. Been there, done that. Hence the reason I know to always check. And there we go. Now, here's what we like to do. Remember, I pulled out my envelope. So I'm going to take my stamp and my ink. And I'm going to ink it up again. And I could put it on the back side. Which, you know what, I might just do that. And then ink it up again. There we go. And put it on the front. Okay. Nice. In addition to that, I'm going to, hello, ink it up and put it on the inside of my card. it firm pressure. Nice. Oh, I love it. I love it. I love it. Okay, so here is our card ready to go. Hope you enjoyed that. I know this was a quick one. As I said, this is from Amaryllis Abloom, which is a host set. So if you are interested in doing a show, uh, be it in person or online or whatever you would like to do, um, I will not be back into the Palmer or Anchorage area for a while, but um, 
when I get back at Christmas time, you could do it then, or we could do an online show. I'm up in a village right now. I see my or my camera's about to go, so if it does, you'll understand. Um, but if you would give me a thumbs up, if you would subscribe down below, and next to that subscribe button, ring that bell, um, and you'll get notifications anytime I post a new video. Thank you so much, everyone. Have a great day wherever you are, and uh, we'll see you next time.